At the outbreak of World War II in 1939, Ireland was a British dominion. However, it had not become fully independent until 1949. During the war, Prime Minister Eamon de Valera adopted a policy of neutrality. However, despite this, Ireland suffered under numerous German air raids, though they were intended for the British. Relations between the two began in the late 1930s, where an Aber agent named Joseph Hoban had been operating in Northern Ireland. He befriended a man named Tom Barry, who had been a veteran in the Irish Anglo War and held the rank of Chief of Staff in the IRA. The two would eventually end up in Germany, where Tom would try to further relations between the two agencies. Once Tom returned to Ireland, he showed off his fingers to the IRA General Army Convention, which he dubbed the plan the Barry Plan. The plan itself would go on the detailed targets along the Irish Anglo border, which if a plan went through, the IRA began attacks. Tom's plan would however be rejected by the GAC, which they preferred a plan presented by Sean Russell, which he called the S Plan, or Sabotage Plan, which we'll go into further detail in another video. Sean Russell would go on to become the Chief of Staff of the IRA, and during his time as the Chief of Staff, Sean would continue efforts of pursuing German aid for the IRA. By January of 1939, under claims of being the legitimate government of the Irish Republic, which to this day all successor groups to the IRA would still claim to be, Sean would declare war on the United Kingdom, and he would begin to act out the S plan. In the 1940s, Sean had been in Berlin, no longer serving as the Chief of Staff, having stepped down the year prior. In Berlin, he would be told about Operation Manau, Operation Manal was a plan to attempt to instigate a revolt in Northern Ireland where a man named Herman Gortz would parachute into Ireland. Sean himself had been in Berlin to brief Gortz about the mission. However, during the night of the operation, Gortz missed his plane. All in all, IRA German collaboration was more or less a failure, built off the poor knowledge that the Nazi High Command had on the IRA, as at the time the IRA itself was much less militarily capable than the Germans first believed.